welcome to I and I Studio. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about my uh, process for packing my supplies to go to Ireland to do the cold wax workshop. Um, I have taken a two week break from making art to bond with my brand new Boston Terrier puppy, Bandulu. Um, I will be bringing him to the studio when I come back from Ireland. I've bought an extra pen that I'll set up in the studio and I'll be sure that I run him around in the backyard quite a lot before I bring him so that he can just nap and give me a few hours to do what it is that I need to do here. But taking this two weeks to bond with him has been a very joyous time in my life. It's such a privilege to have such a beautiful dog and to uh, learn his ways and watch him grow. He was uh, just barely nine weeks, eight, eight weeks and six days when I brought him home. Uh, today is the two-week mark that I've had him. And I spent the morning in the backyard uh, introducing him to the bunnies. And um, it was, it's was it been raining so much here. It's been great to see him get a little sunshine and run around and just watching the growth in two weeks and watching him come to me for protection and uh, he's learning things like leave it and uh, good boy and he's potty training uh, pretty good. Everything's going great. So I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. Now it's time to pack for my trip to Ireland. I'm a little apprehensive about leaving Bandulu. However, my brother will watch him in the day and Chuck will be there in the evenings with him. He'll be fine. And I think that we have built up a strong enough bond that um, he'll know me when I come back and it won't be a problem. So I was telling you earlier that uh, when you prepare the paintings with the paper, it's kind of hard to see what you've done. Uh, the paper obscures what you're doing. And let's just do a little reveal. I'm simply pulling it off the paper. I can discard this. And now you can see a little more clearly what you're dealing with. When I get to Ireland, I'm going to bring these. I'll probably retape them to paper and um, consult with the teacher, Jerry McLaughlin, um, about where I'm at and where I may want to go. I told you I, I, I wanted to bring work in process, so it's not completed but it's, uh, it's well on its way. And I'm, I'm kind of delighted with, um, with what I have so far. I think I've come a long way in cold wax. Here's another one, and I, I sort of like it this way. I love the textures. I'm definitely getting better at the technique. I'm still not 100% uh, convinced about the imagery, but um, it's certainly going somewhere. Let's see what we have when we take this one off. This is the one that I haven't really worked into a lot. So, that's okay. Things would have been different if I hadn't gotten a puppy. And because I did get a puppy, you know, I'm happy that I was flexible enough to stop and change gears. And um, I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that. I, I still love the bottom of this, the way the blue comes through the orange. So that's a technique I've been working with a lot, building up colors and then kind of 
taking the palette knife and just um, kind of chipping into the surface so that the first layers, the bright colors underneath, are coming through. There's something about this one that I've always liked. Okay, so that's three. Here's the fourth. Let's look at that this way. You know, I realize the paintings behind me are kind of obscuring these pieces, but you know, it's kind of kind of fun stuff, isn't it? It's kind of fun stuff. I've worked a little bit since I've had the dog. I know we've come in the evening a couple of times when he was sleeping. And this is the fifth one. One thing about the taping process is that it keeps the back clean. And when you go to mount these onto cradled panels, you will want the back to be clean because if the back is full of oil paint and it's lumpy and bumpy, you're not going to get as good of a contact. Um, I adhere it to the panels with Gorilla Wood Glue. Okay. Here's the front. And the, the thing I like about this one is it has a beautiful kind of diagonal flow, which I'm thinking about. I, I do that so much in my acrylics. So um, going to Ireland, the goal is to um, state my intention. Hopefully that intention will carry through to my acrylic when I come back. And I will be preparing for uh, two shows in November when I come back. This is the beginning of April. I feel almost pushed, like I almost don't have enough time. And when it rains, it pours. Of course, I have two shows in November and not one. That's just the way it works. And I have to remember gratitude. It's a good thing. I'm going to deal with that stress and I'm going to rise up and, you know, put two shows together. So um, let me show you how I pack this stuff. All you need is wax paper and a cardboard sleeve. A stencil has come in this and I think I might use this. It's a little fig. But um, I'll see how it works in the suitcase. If I have to cut it down, I will. This is two pieces of cardboard that have already been taped together quite securely. So I'm going to use these. Um, normally what I do is I just take two flat pieces of cardboard, put the paintings on one side, close the lid, and then tape them together. But I thought, huh, this may work. So all you got to do is get your piece, lay it down. I want face up. I want to make sure that I have um, wax paper in between the layers. So I've just um, put a layer of wax paper over the top, and then I'm going to take the second piece, boom, face to face, then the third piece, back to back, no need for wax paper there. Put the wax paper down, again, face to face, again back to back, and I'm going to end it with a 
final piece of wax paper. So that is that. I want to be sure this final wax paper works on the top. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide it into the sleeve. And I will take it home and see how it fits in the suitcase. And if I need to reduce the size of this a little, I will. But I know I'll have plenty of work coming back from Ireland. So I wanted it a little bigger. Get in, in. Whoops. That's it. Ready for travel. That's that's it. So it's time to select what I'm going to bring with me. Um, there are certain things that are provided there that I don't need to worry about. I need my paints, my tools. Um, just, you know, any of the earth pigments and pan pastels I want to bring. I want to be sure that I can fit it in a little shoebox size. I don't have a huge amount of room in my suitcase, and I also have to accommodate a lot of heavy clothes for Ireland. So um, that's it. I'm ready to start packing. I, this is Sunday. I leave on Thursday. I do plan on shooting some footage when I'm in Ireland. So until then, have a great week. Um, stay creative. Be kind to yourself. Um, be willing to switch gears if life throws you a curveball. And don't feel guilty about it. Um, art will be there, and life has a way of uh, changing our course. And that's okay for a while. You just want to jump back in when it's appropriate. Um, thank you so much for sharing my journey with me, and I'll uh, see you in Ireland next week. Go to the studio, make art. Uh, don't worry about perfection. Art is a practice. Practice makes perfect. Okay, see you soon.